let's learn how to easily make isometric text effects using Kittle. All right, so I have my type here. I just used a nice bold sans serif type. And what you're gonna do is hold the shift key and turn your type until you get to your desired angle here. Because of the effect we're going to use, I know that negative 60 is going to work great for us because once you have this at negative 60, you can just hit the angle transformation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and hit reset transformation so that we don't have it applied to whatever the stock version is. Then what I'm gonna do is grab this angle curve and I'm gonna start making it go all the way towards the left. So we're gonna go into the negative to about negative 90 degrees, okay? And so now you can see that with shifting the text around, rotating it, plus the angle, now we have a perfect isometric looking text. Now, all we need to do is go over here to the effects panel, and we're going to add a drop shadow, a block shadow here. And once I do that, I need to go here and I need to choose my color. I'm gonna go for this orange color. And then you can see it looks a bit weird because it's not in the right placement. But if we take the angle, and we start turning it down to about 150 ish degrees that is going to be a perfectly vertical line and that's what gives us that isometric effect you see what I mean here so we have our text that's on the slant but then we also have our perfectly flat or vertical lines for our effects so we can make a really long one like this or we can make the offset a little bit shorter like this and then what's really neat about this effect is that we can keep duplicating type on top of each other so if I grab this layer hit command or control C and V. Now I can go to the back layer, I can go to the block shadow, I can go over into the color, I can choose a different, I'm gonna make this kind of gradiated effect or gradient style effect. And then I can just increase the offset to continue adding an effect to this type. I'll go back down to the layers, I'll do it again, command or control C and V. I'll go and I'll choose another color. So here I'm gonna choose the yellow and then I can just keep repeating the steps here. So I'm just adding the number. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a blue one for this and boom, now I have all of my type with the isometric effect. So then if I don't like my font choice, you can simply select Select all of those type layers and I can go over here and I can start playing with the fonts that I want to try out so I can use a different one if I want I can go for thinner or thicker you can even play with the fonts that are variable for example this one right here so you can start experimenting with your font choices with your sizing with your letter spacing right here things like that to get your desired effect so if you want to make the type go the opposite direction, we're just going to repeat the process, but the opposite way. So I'm just doing the same exact thing, except I'm going above on the angle curve instead of below. I'm going to change the angle to about negative 30. And then I'm going to just repeat the process that I showed you before, duplicating the text and changing the block shadow. So I hope you have a ton of fun experimenting with this isometric text effect.